On the southern front, the Russians have switched to the offensive. They are launching attacks with groups of several tanks from different directions. As usual, a tank with a mine clearing system is leading the way. A Ukrainian drone stops this tank by dropping several small grenades. After that, the Ukrainians easily stop other armored vehicles using kamikaze drones. Some Russians abandon APCs and scatter upon seeing FPV drones in the air. And some Russian tanks fall into mine traps. The tank that was blown up by a mine also receives a hit from an FPV drone. This forces the crew to abandon the tank and flee. After the Russian advance is halted and the soldiers scatter, Ukrainian drone operators begin the difficult but crucial task of destroying all abandoned Russian armored vehicles. The thing is, Russians often try to evacuate damaged armored vehicles to repair them. But Ukrainians cannot allow this. Everything must be destroyed, like this Russian T-80 tank, which was burned with just one grenade. Ukrainian forces are equipped with an ample number of drones today and are ready to repel any Russian attack, which they are successfully doing. As of now, almost 90% of Russian armored vehicles are being destroyed thanks to FPV drones. This tank turned out to be the most unlucky today. The next day, the Ukrainians continued to repel Russian tank attacks and, from the early morning, destroyed a T-90 tank. This tank exploded like a fireball. However, the next tank proved to be a tough nut to crack. The Ukrainians launched over six kamikaze drones at it, but they didn't get any result. They couldn't even ignite the tank. but then they used a powerful shaped charge shell. This led to an immediate explosion of the tank. Look, all that's left of the Russian tank is a crater and scattered parts around it. With each new attack, the Russians hope for success. They deploy hundreds of tanks and armored vehicles into battle, but can barely advance 100 meters. After another failed attack on the city of Avdivka, the Russians abandoned their armored vehicles and scattered. Ukrainian defenders are now ready to set enemy tanks and APCs on fire. And as practice shows, Russian equipment burns quite well. We have increasingly noticed that Russian soldiers don't even try to preserve their armored vehicles. They fear being inside and immediately abandon them at the slightest danger. Sometimes we are asked, why Ukrainian soldiers destroy the abandoned Russian armored vehicles? Why they don't take them for themselves? The answer is simple. Russian armored vehicles have no value when it comes to preserving soldiers' lives. That's why the Russians themselves abandon them at the first opportunity, and Ukrainians burn them and refuse to use them. Nothing burns and explodes as well as Russian armored vehicles. The Ukrainian army has entire units of FPV drone operators. They are always the first to repel Russian tank attacks. The main goal is to separate the tanks from their crews. When the crews abandon the tanks, then other operators engage in their destruction. This is another abandoned group consisting of one tank and two APCs on the battlefield. Notice how skillfully the operator guides the FPV drone directly into the tank's hatch. After that, the tank caught fire. A burning Russian tank on the battlefield holds significant symbolic value. When the Russians see their tanks burning and exploding ahead, their morale drops, and they usually advance without much enthusiasm, knowing they could be next. After this tank, the Ukrainians also destroyed the two APCs following it. Another tank was also destroyed using a shaped charge shell. 
all ammunition in the tank detonated. Some Russian soldiers, seeing their armored vehicles burning and exploding, try to flee the battlefield at high speed. However, the Ukrainian FPV drone easily catches up with them. In fear, the Russians abandon the APC, forgetting to turn off the engine, but continue running after it. It looks both funny and sad at the same time. When the APC finally stalled, the Ukrainians finished it off. The Ukrainian army has left the city of Avdivka. For over four months, the Russians besieged this city and finally captured it. In the last few days, they dropped hundreds of heavy FAB-500 bombs on the city, making it practically uninhabitable. After the explosion of such a bomb, any building is destroyed to its foundations. The loss of Avdivka doesn't change anything strategically on the front. It's not even noticeable on the general map. But it took the Russians four months to capture the town. During this time, they lost nearly 50,000 people, 1,112 tanks and armored fighting vehicles, and a lot of other equipment. For the Russians, this is a Pyrrhic victory. Putin needed this town at any cost so that he could offer something to the people as a victory before the March elections. Therefore, Ukrainian forces are withdrawing from Avdivka and will continue to destroy Russian military equipment in open terrain. In conditions of a shortage of artillery ammunition, the Ukrainian army relies more on FPV drones than usual. On some front lines, drones have completely replaced artillery. Fortunately, the Ukrainians are currently successfully holding back the enemy's advance, taking advantage of the moment while the U.S. is not supplying ammunition to Ukraine. The Russians attempt to attack even at night. Once again, Ukrainian forces stop them using drones equipped with night vision devices. In the morning, the Ukrainians continue to burn the Russian armored vehicles they destroyed during the night. Sometimes, there are so many tanks and APCs that the battlefield becomes a smoke-filled landfill. Every attack comes at a very high cost for the Russians. Russian soldiers who abandon their armored vehicles on the battlefield face a survival test. The smart ones try to negotiate with the drones while the foolish ones run away. Ukrainian drones are hunting them down. Some of them hide under the damaged armored vehicles, but Ukrainian drone operators are aware of this and skillfully direct their drones right at the target. It's reminiscent of the Squid Game from the Korean series. Trucks are not harmless transportation and are also subject to destruction. They are an important part of Russian logistics, delivering ammunition to the front line. But there is another danger from the Russians, the so-called roaming tanks or lone tanks. A column of tanks is easy to notice, but a single Russian tank can sometimes sneak very close to a Ukrainian bunker to destroy it. To prevent this, Ukrainians carefully track such tanks from the air and immediately destroy them. In this video, you can see one of the roaming tanks. A Ukrainian drone easily ignited it. The tank burned for a long time, and its fuel spilled onto the ground. But eventually, the tank exploded. All that was left of it was just small scattered pieces of metal. This Russian roaming tank, the T-72, was halted during the night. In the morning, the Ukrainians struck it with an FPV drone. One drone proved to be enough to make the tank burn and render it useless. Russians are increasingly employing the tactic of roaming tanks, trying to operate more discreetly. Moving in large columns, they lose so much armored vehicles that they can't replenish them quickly enough. But no matter what methods the Russians employ, 
they are losing and will continue to lose even more because the Ukrainian people are not welcoming occupiers. Friends, if you've watched the video up to this point, leave your mark by giving it a like. Thank you for watching and commenting. See you soon in the next episode in a week.